Hey everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to be creating an ACM certificate that we can use with our Route 53 domain. So go ahead and log into the AWS console. At the top you're going to want to search for Certificate Manager. And an ACM is just Amazon Certificate Manager. And if you have a domain purchased through Amazon, and I believe even if it's not purchased through Amazon, you can provision a certificate um, essentially an SSL certificate for free. So go ahead and just click request certificate and we're going to request a public certificate. Um, you can request other types of certificates and the prices can vary greatly but we're just going to need a basic public certificate that allows us HTTP access to our website. So go ahead and click request a certificate. Um, and in this is where you're going to add your domain names. Um, we're actually going to add two domains. So the first one we're going to want to add is infotrode.io, uh, I think, is the name of the certificate. And then we're going to want to add another one for subdomains. And we'll use this uh, a little bit later in another lecture where we're going to set up a subdomain bucket that will actually forward traffic to our main Amazon S3 bucket which uh, has our website. So we can go ahead and click add another domain and we'll just give it wildcard so that's the star or the asterisk and then dot infotrode dot io and that looks good. So we'll go ahead and click next. Um, there's two ways to validate um, if you have the ability to modify DNS configuration for your domains, um, you can do that, or you can do email validation, um, which is what you would use if you don't have permission to uh, modify the DNS configuration, but you have the access, the email access that, uh, the email address access that was used when you registered your domain. But since our domain was purchased through Amazon Route 53, we can just do DNS validation. We'll go ahead and click next. We don't need to add any tags. You can if you want to, I won't. And then just uh, review it. And then click confirm and request. So now it's saying that the certificate's in a pending status. Um, and all we need to do in order to validate these domains is we need to actually modify a DNS record on our domain. And so we're just essentially going to be adding this CNAME record on our domain. Uh, there's a button here that will do it automatically. Add it to um, Amazon Route 53. Let's just go ahead and click on that. Create record in Route 53. Um, and it'll just give you some information here. Talking about the domain um, validation record. We'll click Create. And if you have that in uh, Route 53, that domain, then this should successfully add a record to your Route 53 uh, hosted zone. So let's go ahead and just do the same thing for this one. They're essentially the same, right? Uh, so if we create a record, click Create, um, and then just click Continue. And it'll take a little bit, but eventually this ACM certificate will eventually um, become a, um, a successful. So let's just go ahead and click refresh. There it is. Perfect. So we have Infotrode. It's an issued um, and everything is set up for this ACM certificate. We can actually view um, that re domain record if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and look for Route 53. We'll click on that. Um, and it can get pretty complicated in terms of types of records for your domains, but this one's pretty simple. We'll just go and click on the hosted zones, and this will list all of our domains. We're looking at Infotrode here, and you can see there's three, um, three domain records um, for this domain. So this NS type is for name servers. Um, and then there's this SOA, I forget which one that is, but these essentially are, they, they come with any domain that you purchase through Amazon. So these are put in automatically. Don't, don't bother messing with those. 
Um, but you can see here that this was the one that was automatically added um, to Amazon um, when we provision our ACM certificate. If you had a domain that was purchased with another web host provider outside of Amazon, you would essentially have to go into those um, into those domain records, right? And you would create this manually. Um, but the process is essentially the same. This is just supplying a record on your domain that allows uh, it allows it to recognize your ACM certificate. And so that's pretty simple. There's not really any way to test it right now. Um, but as long as you have that issued status on your ACM certificate and you have this domain record set up, then you should be good to go. So that's it. That's how you create an ACM certificate uh, for your Route 53 domain. Uh, if you have time, please join me in the next lecture where we will actually configure a CloudFront distribution and get your bucket set up to forward traffic from a domain to that bucket.